Hello and welcome back to Career Launcher. And if you look at the quantitative ability section, you'll typically find even in the last four or five years of CAT, if you go through the papers, you'll typically find that essentially it is arithmetic and algebra heavy. While geometry and modern math are also important topics, but the bulk of the questions come from appear, appear from arithmetic and algebra. So even if you're not very, very good at most of the topics in algebra, there are certain topics that you need to essentially focus on. One of those topics essentially is modulus. One of those topics essentially is logarithm and quadratic equations and stuff like that. So in this video, what I'll take you through is three questions of algebra that have appeared in Countdown Cat, which is a part of our series called 45 days to cat ever since 45 days we have been releasing daily practice questions with questions uh, covering questions that have appeared in our box let's take a look at question 51 a and b are the real roots of the equation x square minus 3x plus k a power 4 plus b power 4 is equal to 801 then what is the value of k what is the pieces of information that is given number one the first piece of information given is that x square minus 3x plus k has real roots. If x square minus 3x plus k has real roots, that means the discriminant of this has to be greater than 3. Number 2, it is given that a power 4 plus b power 4, which are the roots of the two equations, is equal to 801. 801. Okay. So now we know that x square minus 3x plus k if this has real roots, the discriminant should be greater than or equal to zero. So if the discriminant is greater than zero, we can say one thing for sure that 9 minus b square minus 4 ac for this 9 minus 4k is greater than zero. So 4k should be less than 9. 4k should be less than 9. The question is asking you the value of k. If 4k is less than 9, option 1 cannot be the answer. Option 2 cannot be the answer. Either 1 or 2 is also not possible. Option 2 has to be the answer. The answer should be minus 12. I'm least bothered about everything else that is given in the question. However, if you would want me to solve the question, I'll do that too. The second piece of information given is a power 4 plus b power 4 is 801. Check if there are any two integers k power 4 which add up to 801. The best guess you can take is it is it, you know, 4 power 4 plus 5 power 4 equal to 801? No. Is 3 power 4 plus 4 power 4 equal to 801? You'll find no. So basically, A and B are not integers is what we get here. A and B may not, both of them may not be integers. One of them may be, I don't know, right? But what do I know when I am given a quadratic equation like this? If I'm given a quadratic expression like this, x square minus 3x plus k, what can I say about the sum of roots? Sum of roots a plus b is equal to 3. Sum of roots a plus b is equal to 3. What is the product of roots? Product of roots a, b is equal to k. a, b is equal to k. What am I given? A power 4 plus B power 4. Right? A power 4 plus B power 4 is A square plus B square whole square minus 2 times of A square B square. And what is A square plus B square equal to? This is A plus B whole square minus 2 times of AB. Minus 2 times of AB. Whole square minus 2 A square B square. That is given as 801. So you do all this math to get to some result and like this. So if you look at this particular thing, I'll write it here. It is going to be equal to a plus b whole square is 3 square minus 2ab. 2ab is 2k whole square minus 2ab whole square. 2 times of ab whole square, 2 times of k square is equal to 801 is given. So what do you get over here? What we get over here is that 9 minus 2k whole square. So this is 9 square 81 minus 4, uh, 2 into 3, uh, 2 into 9, 18 into 2, 36k plus 4k square minus 2k square is equal to 801. So you'll get 2k square minus 36k is equal to minus 720 equal to 0. 2k square minus 36k minus 720 equal to 0. Which further reduces k square minus 18k 
minus 360 equal to 0. Product of two numbers is 360. Difference of two numbers is 12. The numbers are 30 and 12. So this is k square plus 12k minus 830k minus 360 equal to 0. So k plus 12 into k minus 30 equal to 0. k could be 30 or k could be minus 12. So if you solve using this, you will get either one or two. Most of you may have faulted to this. But the problem is if a and b are both real roots, <laughs> a could not have been equal to 30. And I think using this particular condition, you could have answered the question in a jiffy like like 30 seconds. Is seven. Let me change the color. Yeah. So A, B, and C are three distinct natural numbers. Okay. What is the information given? A, B, C are natural. One, two, three, so on. Minimum value of the sum of the roots of equation x minus a into x minus b plus x minus 2b into x minus 2c equals 0. Whew. So it's going to be this. So if you record this x minus a into x minus b as an expression, it will bring you this x minus x square minus a plus b times of x plus a b. If you look at the second part, if you look at the second part, it is going to bring you this. It is going to bring you this x square minus 2b plus 2c times of x, 2b plus 2c times of x plus 4bc, 4bc. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic expression in terms of x. This is a quadratic equation in terms of x, which will come out to be this. 2x square, right? x squares are taken care of. Now, let us look at what is the coefficient of x. 2x square minus of a plus b minus of 2b plus 2c. This comes down to minus of a plus 3b plus 2c times of x times of x and the product of roots and the product of roots. The last term is 4bc plus ab equal to 0. Right now, the question is asking us to find the minimum value of the sum of the roots. What is the sum of the roots of a quadratic expression x square plus bx plus c equal to 0? It is going to be minus of b by a. So, sum of roots of this expression is minus of minus a plus 3b plus 2c by a, which is 2 which is equal to a plus 3b plus 2c by 2. Now we are supposed to minimize this given that a, b, c are natural numbers. That will happen when we minimize a plus the numerator a plus 3b plus 2c. To minimize a plus 3b plus 2c where a, b and c are natural numbers, we will want to take the smallest natural numbers possible. So what are the smallest natural numbers that are possible? The smallest natural numbers that are possible is b because b is being repeated thrice we will want to give b the value of 1. a is being repeated, uh, c is being repeated twice, we will want to give c the value of 2 and a will be given the value of 3. These are the smallest three prime numbers which are possible, which are distinct, which are distinct. So what we will get here is a is equal to 3, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 2. So a plus 3b plus 2c divided by 2 is going to be 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 2 into 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 by 2, which is 5. So the minimum possible sum of roots of this is 5. Let's look at question 66. What is the number of real solutions of the equations x square minus 5 mod x minus 24 equal to 0? So we have only one mod here, right? Mod ya to positive kulega ya negative kulega. Mod will either open positively or negative. So two cases, two cases, if mod is positive, mod is positive or mod is negative. So when I'm saying mod is positive or mod is negative, what is going to happen here is that mod x is greater than zero. If mod x is greater than zero, right? If so, basically mod x, if, if it opens positively, 
we can assume that x is greater than zero. Pardon, x should be greater than zero. If x is equal to great, if x is greater than zero, mod x will open as it is. When I am saying this mod will open as a with a negative sign, it means that x is less than zero because what we have inside the mod is essentially mod x. So x is greater than zero is the first case. X is less than zero is the second case. In case x is greater than zero, this will open as it is. X square minus five x minus twenty four. Equal to zero. X square minus five x minus twenty four equal to zero. So if you try to factorize this, you'll get x square minus eight x plus three x minus twenty four equal to zero, giving you x minus eight into x plus three is equal to zero. So x can be equal to eight or x can be equal to minus three. But our assumption was x was greater than zero. Can I take x is equal to minus three? I can't. So there is only one possible solution in the, uh, in this case that is x is equal to eight. What happens if I take x less than zero? You'll get minus x. This will open with minus x. So you'll get x square minus of minus five x minus twenty four equal to zero. So x square plus five x minus twenty four equal to zero, giving you x square plus eight x. Minus three x minus twenty four equal to zero, which will mean that x plus eight into x minus three equal to zero, x plus eight into x minus three equal to zero, which will be equal to x plus eight minus into x minus three equal to zero, which will give you x is equal to minus eight or x is equal to three, x is equal to minus eight or x is equal to three. So in this case also, one of the solutions is only possible, right? Because we have expected, we have already assumed that x is less than zero. Only x is equal to minus eight is a possible solution, and x is equal to three cannot be a possible solution because it will violate our assumption. So how many possible solutions to this? There are only two possible solutions to this. There are only two possible solutions to this: eight and minus eight. So the answer, number of real solutions possible, is going to be 